Почет, товарищ! My name is Kelman, welcome to that Russian gamer guy, and today we're continuing Steps DLC Wavelength. Uh, we're gonna finish it today, so let's just go ahead and start. Hopefully everybody's having a great Friday. Ooh, it's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Anyways, here we go, this is our... Summertime, and my life is easy. So, last time we finished on that thing when I have to open the secret whatever door uh, with vintage uh, vinyls and stuff. I kind of don't know how to do that. But let's go ahead and see. Those uh, look like ghosts to me. Ghosts. Okay, ghosts. Where's the freaking numbers? Wait. Is the video on or no? Let me see. Oh my gosh, no, video is not on. Why? Ah! <laughs> no. Anyways, here we go. Uh, let me see if it's gonna be okay now. Uh, this is so funny. I'm like streaming, but it's only freaking black screen. Really? Like, really? Okay. Okay, here we go. Now it's on. Perfect. Um, so, yeah. Um, here we go. Like ghosts. ghosts. To me. Uh, no numbers, though. I mean, let's say one, two, three. Three people. Maybe that's what's up. We have uh, ghosts, stars, eyes, and ice cream. Reminds me of my shitty first drum kit. Well, definitely not a guitar thing. So... Maybe I should check. Actual Haven teenagers buying signed copies of Aenor is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. Okay, it's not the thing. I hate that I actually find this funny. Clouds, I don't think it works for us. We have to find stars, eyes. Hasn't been a lot of interest in sheet music. Honestly, if this is as bad as Cautious seems to think it is... I'm dying to hear it. Well, okay. Um, uh, bargain bin. When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get aggressive. I spy with my little eye. Oh, okay, eyes. Five, um, eyes? Okay, five eyes, uh, two ghosts. What is it with old bands and animal names? I don't know, gators. Uh... Five eyes, uh, two ghosts. We ha we have to find ice cream stuff. Thank you, card. No, cat threads. Maybe treats. a handful of these could lure the cat out of the walls. Oh, we have to put a uh, cat a good foot. Spot to put these. I don't know. Let's check could it out. A few treats there. Cats love window sills, right? Or maybe over there. It's a nice quiet spot. Um, I mean, on the windowsill, in the corner. Ah, let's the windowsill. So we be attracting, uh, customers. Consider it a peace offering. Okay. Pride pins. Been getting a lot of folks saying good for you about these. But not so many takers. Listen station. Record. Reminds me of my shitty first drum kit. There's no uh, stars, though. We have to find stars and ice cream. I think I saw ice cream somewhere. Drums, whole list, foosball. I think there was ice cream somewhere. I'm pretty sure last time I saw it. I kind of don't remember. Oh, here we go. Ice cream. Is it like three? Let's say three. Uh, and we have to find stars. Stars in my eyes. Tiddy, oh, oh. Baby, give me them stars. We can actually try in one. Okay, I do not see stars. It's alright. Oh, uh, let's see. 
Okay, flag. Uh, let's see. Unlock it. Maybe I can guess the combination. There are only a hundred gajillion possibilities. Maybe you can. Maybe you cannot. But let's see. Uh, okay. So. Stars. Oh, we have two ghosts. No, no, no. Out of way. One, two. Here we go. We have two ghosts. I have no idea how many stars. Five eyes. Five eyes. And three ice cream, right? Eh, eh. Three. Wait. Oh, I have to submit it. Okay. Wrong. Damn. Wrong. Maybe oh shit! I Finally, grab all those records. I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. I opened oh, it. Awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. Okay, Haley Kyoko. Haley Kyoko. I don't really know how to pronounce it correctly, but I love her. <laughs> She's cool. You see, I, can I finally do have... get back in the booth and play this record. If I... anyone still cares. I do have a record with uh, ice cream in my inventory. Okay, Stephanie. Play that shit. Spin the record, baby. Oh, right. Give me them gold coins. Give me them gold coins. Okay. Uh, computer. Um, as. Wait. Oh, uh, let me see my objective. Uh, pack up the pride decorations. Ooh, all right. Let me see if we can talk to somebody. Bubbles. Baby Bubbles, how are you? How are you enjoying this weather? She's a freaking bot. I'm not talking to her. Caitlin? Mm, should I talk to Colby? Maybe Colby. What's up? Everybody's ghosting me. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, task list. I know it's not that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Okay, I did everything, I think. Oh, sound effects? Nothing says high-quality radio content like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. Okay, but I think I should do something about pride now. Because it looks like we've done everything for the booth for today. For this season. Seasons can change. But Guess we when won't I'm done change. procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. Where's the decoration? What kind of decoration? Is this decoration? Decoration. Here we go. Uh, pack up decorations. Wait, Pride Month is over or what? This sunny uh, flower this or whatever. This place looks great. She's so beautiful, yo. I love Steph. All right, pens. All right, Garfield and company. Summertime, and my life is easy. All good things must come to an end. Which means every pride decoration must come down. That's what's up. No more pride, huh? Lesbian Eventually, flag. I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Okay, lesbian flag. Tira, tira, di. All right, quick, Lizzie. Thank you guys so Easy. much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also. I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best pride ever. Literally ever. I do remember, Izzy, it's her friend from the past. They were transgender, I think. Something happened. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Okay, memories. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table. Our first pride together. She's Cheers. so sweaty. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case.
just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. It's us against the world. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Love is love. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. Right? And spending way too much money. Right? And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. That's funny. Sensational. Word. All right. Signs are dry. Let's go. Sensational. It's so funny. Okay, Pence. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Who made? Who made? Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come on. It's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm going to go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Oh my God, I have goosebumps. Chloe memories. Gee, that's so crazy. Yo, I miss Chloe so much. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Portland. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. All right. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same. Leah. Yes, that's everything. But the flag on the front door. Who's Leah? Is it like another girlfriend? Souvenir from the best cousin ever. Okay. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Genderqueer pride? Bi pride? Hand pride? Lesbian pride? Uh... Bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride. Just like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. What the hell am I doing here? Wow, I'm literally having goosebumps all over my body. It's so touching. She's so sweet. So sweet. <gasps> That's the end of the summer, huh? We're moving to autumn. All right. À cause de le temps, je te quitte. Yes, Halloween. Hello, Halloween. Yay! That's so cool. We're like witnessing all the celebrations. Steph, you know you can talk to me, right? About anything. If there was something to talk about. It's just, you haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. Oh, c'est moi. We're your family. We're here for you, you know? I love her outfit. Citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. Ah, oh, she's so funny. Mikey. Mikey, what's up? But first, another track. 
What's up with Mikey, though? All right. All right, Halloween. Hello, okay. Halloween. Work mode. Go. Go. Task list. What about Mikey? Let me co. Oh shit. Okay, dating app. Okay. I'm almost crying from the previous season, like from Summer and Pride and all this stuff. She's so cute. All right, things to do. Read all ads, answer to calls, complete record store tasks, note to self, listen to your original song, Tolly Foosball score, uh, add to Ethan's drawing. Will do. But first, let's check our dating app. This lady looks angry. I'm saying no. Uh, okay, fitness. Okay, not so a gym rat as a gym weasel. <laughs> All right, she's funny. I'm taking her. Oh, oh, she didn't swipe me back. Okay, uh, Rita, let's not waste each other's time. I like it. I like it, 29, uh, Rita. Yes, Rita, let's not waste uh, each other's time. Uh, come over. Message. <sighs> I really don't feel up to playing this game right now. Oh, she doesn't want to play? Why not? I'll make the first move, wait for her to move. I mean, if she's so cool, let her go. You know what, Rita? I'm gonna let you kick this off. Right? Okay? Really? Okay. Try harder, Rita. Hey, yourself. <laughs> How's it going? Rita asks. I mean, fine. Why would I say not great? Everything is cool. Life is beautiful. Revating. I don't know what it means. Oh, uh, the hell? What the hell? <laughs> wow, that's kind of a shitty thing uh, to say to someone you just met. Maybe, but at least it's not boring and fake. Right? Tell me about regrets. Tell me about your fears. Tell me about your passion. Let's talk about something positive. So tell me about your passion, baby. Okay, you want to get real? Tell me something about real Rita. Tell me what you're passionate about. LOL. God, how fucked up would it be if I said nothing? Pretty fucked up and I also wouldn't buy it. Come on, you want a real shit? Dig deep. Okay, you're right. This is what I wanted. My first year of undergrad, I thought I wanted to be a clinical uh, psychologist. I was passionate about it. What happened? Mm, Steph asked. I wanted to say Chloe asked. Uh, Rita, uh, I was bad at it. LOL. Great at the talking part, bad at the listening part. Now I'm mostly passionate about needling girls on this app until they tell me all their most embarrassing secrets. You're the one spilling your guts right now. Uh, guess we have something in common then. Your turn. Tell me what you're passionate about. Uh, music. Music. Okay. Okay, why? What do you mean why? Because I love music. Because I gave you a real answer and I want a real answer back. Fine, I'm passionate about music because of the community that forms around it. I love seeing people bounce off uh, each other in the pit. I like that thing uh, where you see a band you love on someone's t-shirt and you're immediately halfway to being friends. I love it too, it's so nice. Uh, I really hope someday I'll see somebody on the street with this t-shirt, wolf pack, like, what up, bro? Um, and I know, what's up? Uh, I love looking out from a stage and seeing that for a second, everyone in a room can agree on something. Of course, you're in a band, of course. Wow, this Rita is kind of annoying. Was, and what does that mean? Nothing, just not surprising that, you, uh, that the thing you're passionate about centers you. Why are you being an asshole? I mean, yeah. Dude, what the hell? Does this uh, tactic ever pay off? There is no tactic, so you're just being an asshole for your own amusement. I don't think I'm being an asshole. You're totally being an asshole. Uh, maybe that was too harsh. Um, okay, chill a little. I'm sorry. Do you want to come over? What for? Do you want to come over to my place? Jesus. After all that, you don't have to. Yo, Rita is so real. Like, literally. 
uh, when I had my dating app, all the combos I had, just like this one with Rita, so funny. Uh, you don't have to, absolutely not, I can't believe I'm doing this. I mean, let's go, that'd be fun. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'll message you when my shift ends. Deal. Okay, Rita, what's up? But maybe we can find somebody else, huh? Ooh, hottie. Who put the ram in the ram little... I cannot even read it, no. Tori, check out my synthwave project. Which holiday? Okay. Yes. I mean, let me finish swiping. Sissy. Uh... I don't want to do Sissy. She's a party girl. I'm Keg. No, Keg, you look boring. Corinne. I mean, she's cute. Mm, Shauna. Loki, disability activist, high key, homosexual. She's funny, but she likes cats. I do have allergy for cats, so no. Or another cat woman. No. Fuck you, app. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, we swiped everybody. Let's talk to Tori. She's a singer. Together, Steph. Best foot forward. Let's do it. Make the first move. Okay. Man, what do I even say? Just say hi, like, hey, what up? Ask her about music. Dope setup. What style of music do you make? Oh god, you're gonna think I'm so pretentious. Try me. It's like a uh, part way between EDM and experimental bedroom synth pop. I mean, sounds cool. Yeah, rad as hell. Uh, thank you. I'm playing in uh, FT Collins next weekend. You should come. Uh, would if I couldn't, but I'm working all weekend. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. Did you used to be in a band? Yeah, why? I mean, yeah. I thought so. Two-piece, kinda punky, kinda out. Drugstore makeup. That's it. Holy shit, I saw y'all in SLC at Atomic DK. Oh, that's crazy, what are the odds? Uh, so what were you doing in SCL? Do you like, did you like the show? Y'all were good. I had like an immediate crush on your git guitarist. Cute. Ouch. Ouch. What about me? Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. It's fine. It's mostly my baggage, not yours. Izzy and I were kind of together-ish. And now we're kind of not. So, uh, it just kind of feels weird uh, for someone to say that they had a crush on her while ostensibly flirting with me. All right, all right, I get it, no worries. So what are you up to these days? No more band, no chilling in Haven Springs. Chilling, killing? Where's that? She doesn't even know. Sounds pretty decent. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, I should get going. It was cool to get to talk to you. Your band was really good. I mean, okay. I'm not asking anyone out if they don't ask me out, so see you around, Tori. That's what's up. My love life is not as cool as I wanted it to be, but that's what's up. Look out for sticky meteorites. Sound effects, stuff, stuff, stuff. Okay, uh, let's go and do tasks. Okay, where are all the ads? What the hell? Oh, fucking Valkyrie. What am I supposed to do with this? Really? The Black Lantern. Uh, please, Minty Hot Dinner. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just come up with something, you know. The Black Lantern. Kind Haven listeners, by now you've heard me talk about everything the Black Lantern is famous for. Great food, great beer, great service, and great atmosphere. So what are you waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider. Uh, happy hour, dinner hour, happy hour. Happy Everybody has a happy hour. hour. Right? Yes, happy hour. Where the already great food and beers are even cheaper. But only right? for an hour. What a deal. <laughs> right? And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to. 
Oh, live music, live lobster. What music? Of course, music. Live music on Monday evenings, or maybe Sunday evenings. If you show up on Sunday and there's no music, that's how you'll know it's on Monday. Oh, she Drop is funny. Tell them Steph sent you. She is funny. Okay, somebody's calling. What's up? Who this? Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right. Um, Fire watcher. Thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three-week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Oh, that's cute, but girl, I mean, any booth tips? <laughs> okay, let's be nice. Got any tips for staying mentally healthy inside a tiny little booth? Asking for a friend. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. Me too. How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to, like, level 10. All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune-telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. Yo! <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm, okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Ha. Huh. I can actually aspiration. Oh, aspiration for sure. Having total freedom, owing nothing to anyone? Sounds like the life. Yes, baby. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into. But I can tell you this. Getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. True. Doesn't feel easy. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know all about that. I thought you might. So I learned this the hard way, but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling into radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. Wow, he was so sweet. I like this guy. Anyways, uh, cell phone. Skin, uh, let's read another ad now. Uh, Grimley's. KRCT is proudly sponsored by Grimley's uh, Auto... Gee, I don't even know. Auto Repairs? Repairs. Grimley's Auto Repairs. Haven Springs' most trusted name in automotive service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for... Oh my gosh, a long time. The love of it. I mean, I don't know. The love of the game. Which game? The car game. The community game. Name a game. They love it. And that's why they're in this business. <laughs> so if you or someone you love is a car... You owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. All right, another ad. Oh, uh, let's read the last one. Or maybe should I check the don't ad? like my riffs? Tell it to the devil cat. I've been told that my weird gimmicks don't bring customers into the store, so I guess we're playing this one straight. Long and short of it, we're open on Halloween and we're giving out free cones to customers who wear costumes, most likely something like this. Here's an offer from our most loyal sponsors, Avalanche Ice Cream. Uh, open on Halloween. Avalanche will be open on Halloween. So, if mom stuffs a coat under your princess dress, know that you can swing by Avalanche and stick your sweaty face in the freezer. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. In costume. Who wears a costume. So, you know... Dust off that Dracula cape and sink your fangs into a scoop of black forest cherry. Anyway, check it out. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. Okay. I like her hoodie. It's kind of cutie. <laughs> uh, the thing is that how can she just leave the radio station like that? Why is it Gabe 20 and I, I am 14? I stuck a chore list on my laptop. Let's see what still needs doing. 
time and blood were. Charlotte and I started this book club where we read the trashiest crime novels and then talk about how much we love them. That's cool. Uh, somebody texted me though. Let's see. Violet, what's up? I left her on red like a week ago. Damn it, Vi. Why do you have to make it complicated? So, I just got home like the worst date ever. She was just immediately disengaged from the moment I sat down. She made eye contact with me like one time. She asked me if I was Gold Star. Uh, what? How is that any of her business? What's Gold Star? Uh, thank you. Anyway, the whole night I kept thinking about how much I'd rather be with you. Wait, why are you even talking about somebody else? Like, it's a freaking dating app. Why are you talking about s dating someone else? I, I don't understand this stuff. Uh, thinking about how much dating sucks and how lucky we got when we met each other. And I don't know how maybe we should like, uh... What are we conversation? What are we step? I left her on red a week ago. I I just don't wanna. I it'd be so weird. Well, I guess the answer uh, that answers the question. This sucks, Steph. I don't know whether to be angry at you or worried about you. Just talk to me. It's been really busy. I've been really depressed. I mean, I've been busy. I'm never depressed. Life is awesome, I confess. What I do, I do the best. Ooh, V. I'm so sorry. I got here with so much shit at work and then I had to deal with uh, getting Valkyrie. I don't know how to read it. Fixed, and I just got overwhelmed and dropped off the grid. I promise I wasn't ignoring you. You just suddenly got busy. Right, uh, when I tried to have a conversation with you about our relationship, uh, it's the truth. Yes, it's the truth. I actually want to be alone. I don't even know what I'm doing on this dating app. Okay, uh, well, we're here now, so what's your answer? What are we, staff? I want to be with you. I can't do this. I'm sorry, Violet. No. I don't think I can be what you need me to be. I'm sorry. Yeah. Me too. Can I just ask though? What if it's uh, you think I need you to be? Ha! <laughs> Not broken? Your girlfriend? I mean, I cannot be your girlfriend. Uh, I have work. Sebastian, hi. How are ya? Um, Your girlfriend, I guess. Right now, I don't think I can... Uh, Fill that role. Well, thank you for being honest with me. I don't think we should talk for a while. I hope you figure out some shit. Okay. I don't need your pity. Me too. Me too, baby. See you never. See you in next life, I think. Uh, that's what's up. It wasn't really nice, but what can we do? Oh, yeah. I should add a tally for yesterday's match. Tally? That game took a lot out of me. But then... They all do. Replay the game, skip replay. I mean, okay, let's play it. Watch and learn, Steph. The master is Oh, about to right, work. Gabe. What oh, up? That's adorable. You oh. think you're the master? Prove me wrong. That's the plan. Jesus, that's hard. Yes. Hey, you got something on your face. Oh, no, no, never mind. That's just what your face looks like. Yes! Numero deux! Okay, but seriously, you really do have something on your face. Just shut up. Woo! Oh, it's a look of profound shame after losing to me yet again. You are losing, Gabe. I don't like Gabe a single bit. Maybe your cat just doesn't like losers. Here we go. That's not my kid. She's nobody's cat, fella. She bows to no man. We have that in common. Well, maybe she should come over and play then. She can't I be any worse than you. Five. Yes, Gabe. What? Goodbye, Gabe. Could it be? <laughs> After all his big talk, has Gabe Chen been humiliated in his own house? I'm telling you, a step is stepping you know, on him. Gloating is not very sportsmanlike. Rung by rung, sucker. All right, 2015, new album. Fresh goodies. Time to find your home. 
Oh, wait, catnip. This is what it's come to. Bribing my cat with drugs. Let's see what's up in the storage. Sebastian, I already said it. <laughs> Staff. Ooh, it's her drum kit. A uh, backstock t-shirt. I might have been a little optimistic about the demand for these. Evans drawing. Let's do it. Fire. Yes, I like this castle thing. It reminds but me of the wait. Born This Way ball. There's more. Uh, it's all painting. The kids are wanted. It's all a painting. I think I'll throw Ethan a little curveball. Yes, Stephanie. Let's see what Ethan does with that. That's so cool. I love how artistic she is. Mysterious box, Back what's up? Bingo. Why does that sound familiar? Fleur de lis. It's French. Open. How do I open it? Do I have to find a password again? Holy shit. Like, Kasha Kasha? Yes, Kasha. A song from the smash hit musical. Okay. Is this the Phantom of the Opera? The Phantom of the Opera is there. Inside your mind. I'm again, I'm again, I'm a you can cry I, I, again. Muffins like a mannequin. Pull yourself together, Misty. Misty, okay, Misty. Found Sticker. this just dumped in a corner. I'm hoping the wiring's still good. Yes, chandelier. The campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. Bottle opener, Gabe's bike, snack, mini fridge, trash, time clock. What is all this? Oh my gosh, I love this piano. So cool. Carousel house. Um, okay, but let me see objectives. Listen to your uh, original song. Let's listen to it. Professional at work. <laughs> so cute. Laptop. Here we go. Instruction no, manual. Ryan, they mean remaining players who also hatched a dragon egg. It's yeah. uh, instructions for the game. Hold list, cardboard, uh, wall of fame, CD section. Okay, here's you go. Been Here we go. Original song. song. Let's Ish. listen. Come on. Summertime! Yeah, yeah. I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year, and I still don't know what it's supposed to be. Ha. Huh. Kiss me hard before like you it, go. So far. Okay, that's beautiful, beautiful, nice. It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown, right? Oh, and a vocal track. Uh, a triumphant breakdown, a dark, a dark breakdown. Maybe I'll really bring the doom and gloom in the breakdown. Yes, please. Happy Halloween. Trick or treat, witch. Okay. Working on my songs. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm on a roll now. Pop, dark, guitar. Perfect. Summertime. Let's see my laptop. Let's see what I have left. Shelf oh, comics. Good. All of it. Uh, clean up trash. Uh, shelf new albums. Find the CD requested in Andy's All email. Right. Just a few chores left. Wait, somebody is calling. I mean, it's like... Who's calling though? Wait, what? Gabe? Gabe, what do you want? Do you like any normal movies? No. But who is calling? Nobody's calling. Whatever. Okay, new releases. As long as bands keep putting out actual records, I'll keep trying to sell them to actual customers. Still amazes me that we now sell comics. Props to Thanor for drumming up so much interest. Yo, Steph's picks. Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? Ryan made me do it. That's so funny. Dude was camped out here for three hours. Didn't buy a thing. 
On the plus side, he did leave all this shit for me to clean up. Yo. Here we go, Stork. <laughs> she is pissed. Alright, we got comic books. Let's shove it back. Waxy Machina? What? Son of Lead. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh, what was that? Gotta I kinda... grab this from the CD section. Was it like police coming to see a Chloe? I was hoping to put on a CD, uh, New Apocalypse Red Albums. Okay. New Apocalypse resume. We haven't exactly been getting the cream of the crop for this job opening. Okay, portrait. Definitely getting this one framed. Suck it. A uh, broken rake. Okay, I think I should. Uh, I've lost 20 years of lower back functionality using this goddamn relic. All right, relic. Uh, comic. Instructional. Okay, but how to become a home inspector includes 10 aggressively personal journal prompts, and they're a. Is this a uh, new albums for hold or what? Look, catnip. Country, Country is one part heartbreak, one part liquor, and then a motherfucking fiddle that can rock your ass. Lick a lick a lips. Heal me with your sweet love. Steal me with a kiss. Here we go, new albums. I also really like uh, uh, Steph's... Um, Voice actor. Jesus, everything reminds her of Chloe. Wow, oh my god. Come on, Gingrich. Someone's calling. What's happening? Is this inside or what? Let me just quickly check. Because maybe it's inside. And I have to uh, answer two fa phone calls. Yes, it's inside. You're on with Steph. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What's what happening? did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is, and she shouldn't worry about it. Which was dumb. Uh... Wait, what? Yeah. You think it's dumb to talk about your coworker's butt? I know. But does it really need to be a whole big thing? I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm... Freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. Let's do it. What's HR, though? Ten. The most nothing number on the die. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So... What do I think this guy deserves? I mean, a second chance... I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. For 45 tense minutes, they drill you on every word of your company's sexual harassment policy, ultimately deciding that you need to apologize to her. Are you sure? Because she laughed and said thanks. It was our co-workers that decided to make a big deal out of it. Really, dude? I'm sorry. It's just everyone's acting like I'm some sort of a creep all of a sudden. I know. Relax. Okay, These relax. These rules are crazy. No one is calling you a creep. I know you weren't trying to make her uncomfortable, but you clearly did. 
So instead of telling some radio DJ that you screwed up and you're really a nice guy, why don't you prove it and apologize to her? Yeah. Right? You're right. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, Steph is so cool. I love her. But anyways, we have to complete some tasks from the store. Uh, like, clean up the trash in the storage room. Let's see what it is. Bear, why so much stuff on the phone tonight? I just left. I just freaking left. Stop calling, stop calling, I don't want to talk anymore. I got my head and my heart on a dance floor. Thanks for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. Who this? Hey. Hi. I've, um, this is my first time calling, so sorry if I get it wrong. Okay, what's up? Oh, uh, no wrong answers. Hey, don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. Just tell me what's on your mind. Right. Uh, thanks. Well, I played on my high school soccer team last year, since all the rec leagues here stop at age 16. Okay. And this girl on the team is just, I don't know, the worst. Like, I know I'm awkward sometimes. I'm not, like, a cool girl. But that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. I don't want to stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is... I want to stand up for myself. But will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? I mean, girl, that just forget about everything. sucks. Let me see what I can see. The thing is, why would you care about something that other people say? Like, who cares? They say Ugh, whatever. 16. Bullies are the worst. Especially when they ruin something you love. What do I tell her? Just ignore she her. She pretty high. Oh, you shut her down, you become friends. I mean, you shut her down. Alright. Ready to hear your future? Yeah. What is it? You keep your head down. And at first, it feels like nothing's changed. She keeps at it, torturing you whenever she gets the chance. But one day... Uh, you snap. You She screws up. Yeah, she screws up. In the dead heat of a tied game, she goes for the steal and misses. You totally stunt on her, getting possession and sinking the go-ahead goal. Top corner, near post. The crowd goes wild, and in an instant, your teammates wake up. Sweet. Things don't become totally amazing right away, but by the end of the season, you and your teammates are thick as thieves, and Miss Mean Girl is out in the cold. Turns out, nobody likes an asshole, and they were all just waiting for permission to stop pretending. I mean, yeah, it sounds good, but it's just a nice story. Well... If it helps, I've been there. Really? Yeah. Middle school, high school. I thought I'd have to move away to make it stop. Kids like this girl of yours have a nose for what makes you different. They sense weird and they get their claws out. That's true. But if I'm you like figure that. out what makes you weird and embrace it, arm yourself with it, you take it out of their hands and into yours. They're left with no ammunition. For me... It was coming out. For you, who knows? But whatever makes you weird is also what makes you a <laughs> badass. Trust me. Yes, Steph. That does help. A lot. You're welcome. And thanks for calling. Yo, she's extremely sweet. My God, I... Mm. She's like literally helping people. That girl, she definitely gonna feel better after this conversation wow okay let's clean shit up here drums mannequin do you want to do something to mannequin drums still haven't figured out what's making my snare buzz Ugh. what's the shit that i should clean up i might have been a little optimistic about the demand for the can't afford them yet 
You can't just let customers pluck up all the good stuff. Oh, this trash. I thought we have to, like, put some stuff away. They found her body in the junkyard. Like, fucking trash. Oh my god, Chloe! Where's Chloe? I am so not having this right now. Last oh, chore. Shit. Just get it done. Oh shit, it's about Chloe. Yo. Okay, find Andy's CD. Wow. I feel so bad that I sacrificed Chloe. But, you know, the whole town, I mean, I just couldn't do that. Wow. CD selection. Let's search for his CD. Found it. Yo. It's just like any other day. Just like any other fucking day. Gabe! Gabe's a great friend. More importantly, he's got booze. When I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Okay, but what about Chloe's story? I wanna listen to it. Close up. That's insane. Gabe, oh my god. Listen, I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Girl, that won't help. That won't freaking help. It's Mikey. Why won't you Why won't you answer Mikey? What happened, Steph? Come on. Just talk to him, please. Yes, yes, answer. Okay, I understand. I understand. Okay, I know how this uh, time of year is when the memories attack you and all you wanted to do is shut them out. I know you would give anything to get through tonight without thinking of Arcadia Bay or Chloe or me. But just in case, I'm here for you and I always will be. No matter how fucking terrible this night always is, I'm not the least bit sorry that I still have you in my life. And I know you feel the same, even if you're in the literal worst as showing it. Anyway, you know I'm around and could definitely use some gaming distraction. No pressure really, but I'm around, Mikey. That's so sweet. So, this is actually the night when Chloe died. It's crazy. When they oh, found fuck. her body. Damn it, Mikey. You should not run away from this feeling, Steph. Just talk to him. It's extremely hard, but yo. Oh my god. Okay, we'll be playing, huh? Mikey, what's up? Really glad we could hang out tonight. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's, uh, well, you know. He's so cute. Yeah. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on. Let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay. Where were we? Okay, uh, move, read, campaign notebook. I don't know, like, Elamon, let's move it. Wow. I believe <sighs> Elamon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds right. They are so crazy. Like, now I cannot stop thinking about Chloe, and I'm like, oh, shit. I wish we could see her here in this game.
New Eden. We playing or not? Shh, Wells is coming. Penis! <laughs> <laughs> I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No, pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. That's crazy. Everything okay? Yes. Yes. All good. Use good memory bombs. or bad memory? Is there a difference? <sighs> I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. <laughs> Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And now? Guilt, anger, anger. Just angry. Like there's a piece inside of me that wants to scream until I run out of breath. No one deserves what happened to them. But they weren't no one. They were so... beautiful. Yes. Look, Steph. What you're feeling... I'm fine. Come on. Let's keep playing. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking sad. Okay, let's roll the dice. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. Okay. It's gonna be another memory, huh? He's so handsome. Chloe He's the and only... I weren't best friends or anything. But she was there for me when it mattered. She wasn't afraid of anything. Same for Rachel. She always said Chloe saved her life. But I'm pretty sure that went both ways. And if she could have, I know Chloe would have stopped at nothing to save Rachel. Because that's how strong she was. Rest in peace, Chloe. Rest in peace, Rachel. Fuck. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah. No. I don't know. I was hiding in the back, you know? I was supposed to speak after you, but... I realized that if I stood up there, I'd have to look at everyone. Chloe's mom. Rachel's parents. Half the town. There was no way. So I bailed. I understood. Everyone did. You didn't. No, you didn't. I know you wanted to, but I could see it in your face. You were disappointed. I needed time. You were always like a superhero to me. My brain couldn't make sense of you struggling like that. When I think about Chloe and Rachel, my whole grip on reality falls away. The people I care about, the stuff I like. How can any of it matter? What kind of world is it that lets that shit happen? I'll let you know if I figure it out. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Let's read it. I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking, why don't you come? It'll be, well, you know, it'll be fucking horrible, but <laughs> maybe a little less horrible if we're both there. Yeah, 
That sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you. Again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. But you didn't. Why? Why do you think? Ha. Huh. Because you're sentimental. Maybe you just can't let go of high school. I'm your human time capsule back to the good old days. I know you don't believe that. Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you that makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. <laughs> it does. Me too. <laughs> but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a flaky, lesbian, punk nerd is your destiny. <laughs> like Elamon, adventure will always find you. That's promising. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. <laughs> now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? <laughs> Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. Oh my god. He is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything. And don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh. Spooky. <laughs> they are so cool. But boy, it's so freaking sad. Like, all the memories about Arcadia Bay, Chloe, Rachel. And I just realized, like, Chloe and Rachel, they both died. Yo. It's winter time. Okay. We've had no calls in the past hour. Which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Yes, say, outfit. Though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly. I might do this every year. Oh my god. Hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. <laughs> Why is he calling though? Has the lantern made any resolutions? Okay, New Year. So, what are your resolutions and how many of you already broken? Yeah, um, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. What do you mean? Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant. I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. 
It's about Alex. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Why not? Why didn't you? <laughs> because I didn't have anything to offer her. That's been my excuse for ages. <sighs> no, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask. What's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? And then we're gonna play Life is Strange you know True I'm Colors. Not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, shh. Don't ruin it. Yes, okay. Dad. Come on. Give me a second. Two. Oh, hmm. shit. You might not like what I'm seeing. Really? What would be tough for Gabe? But in a good way. I mean, he's gonna die anyways. Uh, accepting the guilt, serious commitment. I mean, accepting the guilt, you know. Come on. You give her a call. She's surprised, but really glad to hear from you. You start catching up, and at first, it's wonderful. But the more you hear about her life, and what she's been doing these past seven years, the guiltier you feel. You overcompensate, you beat yourself up. You overdo it, making all kinds of promises and all kinds of plans. You know you're pressuring her to forgive you, but you can't help it. <sighs> yeah. But then, you remember what a psychic on the radio once told you. You can't make the guilt go away. Stop trying. So you focus on her needs instead of yours, and you quickly realize she doesn't give a crap about how you feel. She cares about what you do. So true. You decide to step up and act like the big brother you should have been. You make sure talking to you is a good part of her day. You give her advice when she wants it, <laughs> and shut up when she doesn't. You talk about her future, find a place for her in your life here. And one day, you look at her in her hiking boots and Colorado sweatshirt, <laughs> laughing at something you did. And you realize you completely forgot to feel guilty. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? I'm cool. I think I'm cool. Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Boy, Steph is my officially my favorite character in Life is Strange. First and third, not second one, because we know nobody Read can ads, beat Sean songs, and Daniel. Calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. Okay, wow, she's so nice. She's actually like talking to people, helping them. And I think everybody appreciates her because she's really such a sweetheart. Crazy. Let's look at Man. my task list. Last show of 2018. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking crazy year. Take two colors, advertise three things. Okay, ads, let's see. What's up with the ads? Read ads. Uh, 2019, uh, New Year's Eve party, free champagne, raffled with prizes provided by Charlotte, Eleanor, etc. Uh, tap out night, last Thursday of every month, new brews installed in our uh, ro rotating taps. Okay, the Black Lantern. Let's do a uh, Black Lantern. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to... Uh, grab a complimentary glass of bubbly in time for the countdown. Also, tap out night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers... 
Uh, drink special, drink... Drink special, yes. Drink special, so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer-scented heart of Haven Springs. All right. Gabe uh, texted. Are uh, you checked under the front door of the shop lately for like I don't know surprises left uh, there for you by your loving and supporting butts? <laughs> All right, hey, let's check it out. What did you leave out there for me? Right, it's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Yo, New Year! Oh my gosh, it's coming up though. It's already October. Jesus. Mimiga Village. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Okay, look at what this. Could fit under the front door. Maybe so concert cute. tickets. But uh, let's talk about. Oh, Janine. Uh, I don't like Janine. She's too dramatic. Uh, Crystal. I like it. No, she doesn't like me. Zephyr. No. Best Betsy. Cosplay is not consent. I mean, okay, Bessie, Carmen. Ooh, <laughs> I, 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 I don't play uh, sport games. Excuse me. Shell. I don't know. No. Riani. I don't know. I don't like anybody. Sharks be a dolphin. No. She's like 30. Yes, fitness girl. Yes, Brooke. What's up? That's as good a sign as any. Time to say goodbye to this app. Okay. No more apps. Uh, Mimiga Village. I will sit down here for a while. Alrighty. Alrighty. I think we're almost finishing uh, Steph's DLC. It's winter. And it's extremely emotional. Ooh. Uh, I'll definitely get more done. Wait, why it's still violent? I like kind of don't want to talk uh time to share your resolution figure out what comes after haven spring get my cat to love me do something important let's be just cute violet i swear right now on a stack of bibles by this time on uh, next year valkyrie will love me wolf uh sure you don't want to pick something a little more attainable not this time. Uh, dude, I have so many. First of all, gotta get out of telly. Not sure how far out of telly, but I'm ready to taste uh, of that city life. I wanna do a gallery show. Oh, yeah, she's a, an artist. Uh, you can do it. I'll be nice. Oh, hey. There's a house show. Uh... So she's inviting me. We're like chatting and stuff. Thank you. I, I kind of like, I don't know. I don't like Violet. I know Alex is coming. So what's up? Envelope. Is it money? Give me the money. Money is the anthem of success. So before we go out, what's your address? What's that? A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve. My friends are dorks. Steph, wait, what? Your friends put together a surprise scavenger hunt at this, and this is the first clue. You must have seriously great friends. Steph is witty, bold, and fun, but she's also a great listener. P.S. We're starting off easy. Don't look far. Okay, my friend put some stuff here. Uh, let's find my present. Where is it? They say, don't look too far. Don't look too far, right where you are. That's where I am. Oh, I'm your man. I'm your man. How does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? Maybe time travel. Wait, but uh, what do I look We're for? We're gunning for Charlie Brown with this level of decor. Wait, 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 wait. What are we looking for? Merchandise. If oh, someone she. someone told me when I started this random ass job that we'd get popular enough to sell merch, Shirtless I would have Santa? punched them in the foot. I want to see Shirtless Was Santa. Was this worth 1999? Yes. Oh my gosh, I wanted to see Shirtless Santa, but she won't. Um. 
Zoom it. What about my song? Lisa, don't look far. So close to the front door, I guess. Salt? So he's like killing his own people? What the hell? Ooh, okay. Never resented snow until it became my job to clear it. Wait, so here's front door. What am I looking for? Getting pretty mushy. Even for Gabe. One year ago, this brought us together. We were friends in a heartbeat. Heartbeat. Bitch, what? Heartbeat? Okay, tomorrow I'm finally clearing this off. Heartbeat. New, gear, new bulletins. I hear your heartbeat. You are crazy and I feel the same. Typical Ryan. Making triple sure I get it. Uh, ever since you started illuminating the future, your show's been a bright spot in people's lives. You really made Haven shine again. Okay, we're looking for, like, oh shit, someone is calling. Hello, hello, baby, you cold, I can hear a thing. Okay, I forgot the lyrics, so I stopped singing. <laughs> oh my god. Stop telephoning me. I like her lips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm call. I'm answering. What y'all want? What's up? Happy New Year. Hey, hey, you're on with Steph. Hello, Stephanie. Is Who's this Ducky? Ducky? Indeed, it is. I'm calling with an inquiry about the future. <laughs> I'm seriously flattered. I'm inquiring about my gentleman's mortality wager. Your what? Sorry, your what? Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. Interesting. It's a common arrangement, although it's <laughs> admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. Uh, you may know it as a tontine. Uh, how old are these friends? I mean, are they still alive? How many of you are left? Right? Three. Uh, plus me equals four. For now. I'll consult the fates and be right back. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. Okay, let's do it. Seventeen. Um, go Ducky. Yo, Ducky. I kind of like so, Ducky. He's sweet. Ducky's taunting. Uh, he wins his taunting. He wins friendship. Friendship, Ducky? baby. I'm back. Prognosticate away. Happily or sadly. Your friends all continue to live this year, so you don't win your taunting. You're certain? They're really old. Uh, you could kill them. I mean, I guess you could still go and kill them. Go all John Wick or whatever. I would never dream of it, as a gentleman and a friend. Uh, also, murder voids the terms of the taunting. Seems like a smart thing to put into the contract. But thinking about your friend's death so much causes you to remember why you were friends with them in the first place. You decide to visit each of them over the year and have a great time reconnecting on a totally tontine free level. If I cannot be rich in gold, I will be rich in friendship. Yes, friendship. Thanks for calling, Ducky. All right. That's what's up. Uh, let's continue our treasure hunt. Oh, they said something shiny, so I gotta look for some source of light. Like, bright Christmas lights. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Here you go, this is, uh, next clue. No? How does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? Wait, so, they said something shiny. Like, bright Christmas lights. Um... Wall of Fame. 
Where am I be? I mean, should we go uh to the back room? Scratching thing. Chair, hoodie, mannequin. I'm again, I'm again, I'm again. You can cry I I again. Illuminate shine. Okay, Ryan's talking about some kind of light. But I mean, I don't know. It turns out I sold more bird call CDs than punk records this year. I'm gonna give Ryan a wedgie. What about dating profile trust? Ryan, I tried to help you, bro. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. They having like uh dating app plan. So funny. Laptop. Uh what's shiny though? Wait. Memory. Memory. The executioner priest begins chanting. Blood to oil, breath to steam. Blood to oil, breath, breath to, to steam. steam. Elamon readies the bow, but doesn't fire just yet. We submit this offering to you, Almighty Owl Lord Quixby. Fire. Critical hit. The bolt pierces the priest's neck and impales him against the altar. Yeah. Wait, Owl Lord? I like all this um, stuff, all this game stuff. His name stuff. is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby is harvesting the collective knowledge of New Eden so he can complete his weather machine and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now... It's my turnal. Ah, uh, okay, my turnal. Um, what's that? Cardboard stand up, Eden's drawings, water cooler. Ah, uh, okay, we're looking for something shiny. Source of light, source of light. Uh, Christmas tree, shower. I cannot s look at these lights. What can be shiny? Merch, wall of fame. Third clue. Typical Ryan. No, I already saw trouble. it. Sure, I get it. I mean, I'm trying to get it, but where is it? How does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? Boy, like I don't know. Hold this. Oh, here we go. Huh? Sure. You took my sadness out of context. You took a giant leap of faith and moved to a strange town where you forget a badass. Forged a badass. Creative life for yourself. I'll find the next clue in the record bin that describes what you are. In the record bin. What's record bin? Booth. Uh, scratching post. Wait, record bin. Record bin? What's record bin? Hold list. Should I look for a record? Indie, rap, clue. Here we go. Inspirational. I... <laughs> what? Thanks for selling Effort comics. Even. That's what I call awesome. Oh, she. That's funny. Okay, comic books. Here we go. There should be next. Oh, I thought there should be a next clue here. Salt. Well, maybe then it's like... Here. Uh, foosball. Oh, original song. I want to listen. I did a bunch of work on my song. Let's listen to it. Shit! It's copyrighted! Oh no! Mm. I don't care if you're going to the prison, I wouldn't say I lo love you if I didn't. My little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Right? High school, Maybe yo. Maybe I should share it with someone. With Alex. She coming. Send it to Mikey. Play it on the radio. Keep it for myself. Yo! Play it on the radio, babe! Nothing on but the radio, and I've got nothing on for tonight. Hey, KRCT listeners, got a special treat for you. All right. Here's a world premiere by a talented up-and-comer, 
who might just be finally getting her shit together. All right. Let me know what you think. I mean, I love it, even though I cannot hear it. Okay. Um, anyways. That clue's in here somewhere. Oh, the clue is here? Here we go. See, Valkyrie? We're best friends. It says so right here. She's your real best friend. No point trying to pretend. I try to complete. I admit defeat. It's a match made in hell. What can I say? Oh, well. Okay, let's see the cat. Match made in heaven. If they want to talk, let him. If they don't think we're good to get a baby, just forget him. When he's bad, he's bad. But when he's good, no one's better. I think it's like match made in heaven. And this kind will last forever. Yo. Okay, where's my kitty? Shake your kitty. <laughs> Gotta keep looking. Here you go. Where's that next clue? Oh, you solved the scavenger hunt. Your prize is on a shelf in the back. All right. Shelf in a bag. Shirt. Box. Holy shit. This is rad. Whoever sits here does so by the benefits of Stab Greenridge. Black Lantern regular and staple of the Haven community and must yield their place to her upon request. That's so sweet. A wonderful bunch of absolute geeks. Steph, the first, uh, the time has come for me to formally realize, release you from your foosball oath. Uh, if or when you're ready to leave Haven, I won't throw a fit, I promise. On the other hand, though, uh, maybe you've seen the little plaque screwed onto some of the bar stools uh, at fine old taverns and such. Those seats are reserved for members of the community who, no matter how far they stray or how long they stay gone, will always have a spot at the bar when they return. Well, you're one of them now. You've earned it. Thanks for a great year. We love you, man. Gabe Brian Charlotte. P.S. Swing by tomorrow and claim your stool. Oh, that's so sweet. They are Gotta so finish sweet. Gotta up the radio show. Can't drink on the job. Okay, let's do it. Boy. That's New Year. New Year's Eve. And I'm here alone in the booth working but it's not bad i mean she's definitely not happy but at least she's not sad you know what i mean hope is a dangerous thing for a woman like me to have oh oh, oh. all right here we go beyonce is that you happy new year you're on with steph oh wow hi I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Okay. Grandma said she lived the lights on from me. Grandma said the flags are waving for me. Grandma said that somewhere out there is a good man waiting for me. Grandma gifts rule. They pull out all the stops. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm calling. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. Dope. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? Yes. I will consult the cosmos. Let's roll. The dice. I mean, the thing is, if you don't like something, don't do it, no matter <sighs> what other people much. think. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Just sell it. It's your gift, so you can do whatever you want. Return it. Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You return the whopper of a gift and come clean with Grandma after all those years of misguided presents. 
Oh, my stomach hurts. It's a thorny conversation, not at all softened by your grandma's homemade raspberry tarts. Oh, she's thankful. She's thankful. Even though she's embarrassed, she's thankful that you were honest. It shows that you really do value her. <sighs> That's a relief. And instead of video cameras, Grandma makes you a holiday sweater every year featuring Rudolph in various summertime occupations. Oh? Gardener, lifeguard, ice cream truck driver, seasonal orchard hand, that sort of thing. Is she trolling you? Mm, it's unclear. Huh. But you learned something important. Never return a gift from Grandma? Ah! No matter what happens, there's nothing you can say or do to make your grandma stop adoring you. And the more you get out in the world, the more people you meet, the more you realize how rare and special that is. Thanks, Steph. That means a lot. You got it. So sweet. She's extremely sweet. Read all the ads. I mean, I think we have one more. Oh, two more. Okay, Grimley's Auto Repair. Uh, we've served the Haven Springs community for 13 years, in case anyone is curious. We're open during all major uh, holidays. Okay. Hey, we've got a returning sponsor today. Grimley's Auto Repair. Serving Haven Springs. For 13 years. Since uh, before some of you were born. <laughs> <laughs> Since 2005, before some of my listeners were even born. And if you're one of them, remember, only cool kids stay up late and listen to local radio. Yeah. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So if you... Uh, hit a reindeer, hit a firework. I mean, reindeer. Crash your car head on into Comet, Cupid, Donner, or Vixen. They're here for you. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair. Your best and greasiest neighbors. All right, one more ad. Uh, Stamps Grocery. Holiday food on sale. Full-size turkey, smoked ham, fresh cranberry sauce. A uh, blowout on holiday decoration. Wild selection of New Year's resolution friendly foods. Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're going to survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry, Spamps Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with... Your favorite holiday foods. Sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty size candy cane. But this time, without the excuse. Here you and go. as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one-stop shop for... Uh, get fit foods, bland foods. Healthy foods that you know you should be eating, but don't, because they taste like cardboard. Jeez. Happy New Year from Spamps. I've done enough work tonight. Almost time to break open the champagne. Let's do it. I think I saw the champagne here, huh? Is it here? Where is it? Where's my bottle of champagne? I'm drinking champagne. Like an angel in heaven, it's true. I have these psychotic visions every day. Okay, where's my... All right, I think it's about time to crack open that champagne. I don't want to talk to anybody. Okay, Jed, what have you hooked me up with? It's almost... Close enough. Why is she so alone here? Happy New Year, Valkyrie! Wherever you are. Wow, that feels so crazy. I don't know. Like it's freaking New Year and she's all alone in that store and she deserves... I cannot say that.
it's uh, necessary to be with somebody but it's a little bit sad that she is alone i'm so happy that then she meets alex and everything is fine hey ryan fucker larp oh mrs cat <laughs> yes yeah, Steph. mountain song diamond shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge you're awesome new releases in just a minute but first let's hear from you hey there you're live on krct How's it going? Hey, Steph. I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry. Those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. That's true. <sighs> it's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. She was rude. Question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? She cool. Val let me pet her the other day, and then she bit me more gently than usual. We're definitely getting somewhere. Oh my god, that's funny. All right. Mega Village, mine as well. The Wednesday. Let me know what you think. Oh, that's a new song. Radio DJ Job Seattle. She wants to move. Wow. Okay. What song is this? Summertime and my life is easy. Bradley's on a microphone with SMG. All the people in a dance will agree that we will qualify to represent the LBC. Me, me, Louis, we're gonna run to the party. Oh my god. <laughs> That's such a lovely connection to the main game. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, that's it. That's it, everybody. Such a sweet game. Wavelength. That was Staff's DLC, Life is Strange, True Colors, Wavelength. That's it. It was so sweet and so emotional, especially the part with Chloe, with uh, memories about Chloe and Rachel and Arcadia Bay. It's just so crazy. Wow. I cannot wait for the remastered version and y'all will be playing it uh, as soon as it's out. I believe it's coming out like, oh shit, I think they delayed it so it might be next year or maybe October. Something like this, I mean, I, I kind of think it's October or maybe next year. Hopefully it's October because I really want to play Life is Strange 1 and Life is Strange Before the Storm remastered versions. It'd be hella crazy. And yo, seeing Rachel, Chloe, Max again. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully y'all having great Friday. Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Uh, everybody's looking for the weekend, weekend. Alrighty, that's it for today. Uh, I'll see. I'll see y'all tomorrow for the Walking Dead. The grand finale for the next, uh, for a new frontier season. It's gonna be crazy. So you better all be there. Alrighty. Bye, everybody.